Hi, welcome to the ICANN channel. On this installment, we're going to talk about the ICANN Camera Cradle. The ICANN Camera Cradle is a multi-purpose camera positioning tool. On the surface, at first, it may look like a simple bean bag, but we've designed in a few features to make it a little more versatile than that. First thing that we've done is that we've uh, designed in loops all around the edge of the, of the, the camera cradle. These loops will allow you to either fasten or secure the bean bag to other objects and or you can also use the same loops to fasten the camera to the bag. I'm going to break out a camera here and set it on top. Take out a trusty old XL1 and put it inside the bean bag. One of the things that we've done is that we've put micro beads inside of the bag. The micro beads actually make it a little more suitable for positioning because they hold their shape very well and very easy. Once you just move your camera into the position that you want, snug it down, and the camera will hold its position. Once you have your camera uh, positioned in the bag that you want, all you have to do is just simply take one of the straps, hook it through the loops on the bag. I personally like to go in a, a kind of a diagonal pattern, kind of crisscross them over the top of the camera, so that way from four corners we can hold the camera down. Let me keep the position out of the way. You simply connect the straps together, and then when you have it in place, kind of snug it up tight. Now we'll go ahead and do the second one here, just like I did the first one. There, once we have that done, then the camera is now fastened and secured to the bag. Um, the nice thing about fastening the camera to the bag like this, this also allows us, if you want to, to wear the bag. Uh, with the can ICANN camera cradle, you get both a shoulder strap and a waist strap. Once again, you can use any of the, the loops on the side that you want to attach the strap to. And I'm just going to attach mine to these ones in the center. Uh, sometimes I like to crisscross them like I do the uh, camera straps, but today I think I'm just going to attach it right down the middle. And go ahead and snap those on. Once those are snapped in, the camera strapped in, it's real easy for me to simply put the strap over my shoulder and I am now wearing my camera. Once again, this is why we call it the camera cradle because it's kind of like carrying and cradling your, your, your baby. Uh, allows the camera to move with you and wherever you move the camera will go with it too. This uh, also kind of helps take your weight off your shoulders if you're doing a lot of uh, handheld camera work. We also have a belt strap and let me take a few seconds here to fasten this on. And with the belt strap you attach them to the back of the camera, uh, excuse me, to the back of the bag. Once you have the strap attached to the back of the bag, it's real easy to attach it around your waist or your body. Put the shoulder strap on, and I kind of put mine through the, my shoulder. It's one of the reasons I like mine crisscrossed a little bit more than straight in the center because it helps position the camera bag a little bit more. That the camera in the bag are fastened to you, and wherever you move, the camera will move. Uh, like I said, if you're shooting uh, maybe events or something like that, long shoots, it's real easy to just to uh, let the whole camera bag and everything rest. If you know that you have to pull the camera out on a regular, fairly regular basis, you may want to leave the camera unstrapped from the bean bag, in which case the you and the bag and the camera all move separately. So you can shoot, you can shoot, put the camera down and then maybe even then continue shooting. Uh, it's all up to you. The, the system is completely configurable, completely customizable. Uh, pretty much any way that you can dream of connecting the camera and the bag, you can use it. Now one other additional thing that we've included in the bag system, the camera cradle, is that we have pockets on the side for your wireless mics. Uh, one of the neat features that we've been designed in is also uh, a split cover so that way when you attach this either one side or the other side can be attached uh, and your wireless microphone can be put in there. This way you can either split it down the middle, down the side, or one half depending upon which way the antenna comes out of your wireless mic and in the bottom, the bottom is left open so that way you can also still run your microphone cables out the bottom if your system is designed that way. 
Once again, the camera cradle is completely customizable. Any way that you can dream of to use this bag, you can. I've put them in the this branches of a tree to hold the camera in place. I have strapped it to the top of ladders to uh, hold the camera in place. I've put them in the front seat of a car. I've put them on the luggage rack of a motorcycle. I've even put them on a front seat of a uh, of a, actually of an office chair and made an impromptu dolly. The configurations, the uses are, are endless and probably the best I've heard so far, it makes a great pillow when you're waiting in the airport. Once again, thank you. Appreciate your time. Come back and see us again on the ICANN channel.